Huh. Huh. Okay, so we're now pressing into Diana's territory. There's no troops here. Why is there no troops here? Ah, oh, son of a bitch. It's you lot, isn't it? I can tell. <laughs> there is one division defending this. There's freedom of speech. Immigration. Many wastelanders are moving to Texas in search of a better life. Let us formalize a process for these wastelanders to become citizens of the Lone Star Republic. They're certainly getting close to capitulation, yeah. But they're starting to majorly push out of this again. I mean, I could actually stop them. Ooh, maybe not. Frugality has escaped us, and this is what we reap. Our economic advisors are reporting some extremely troubling news. Due to our recent spending sprees, our coffers are depleted. Indeed, our current income wasn't enough to offset the expenses, and as a result, we burned through the surplus funds too quickly. It's safe to say we're currently suffering a minus 0.2 stability percent and a host of other terrible effects that have come with a horrible fiscal situation. Um, okay. I mean, that was purely down to the fact that the focus for the Texan Defense Bureau bankrupted me. Having cost me 600,000 caps. Did it say it was going to cost that much? I don't remember. Butcher Pete's requests. No, piss off. I'm just going to take everything again behind me. Why are you attacking? Don't attack. Just hold. Dig in. It's what you do best. Fortunately, all of this is going to fall. There's nothing I can do to defend that. It went so well, but I think this is a loss again. Yeah, like fighting the two at the same time is just not possible. Although they have just left their capital unguarded. Again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think I'd need the pass too. I think the mistake I made here was... Okay. Never mind. So who was over here? Executives. So we'll liberate you, liberate you, liberate you, liberate you. In fact, I think I'll probably just liberate everyone. Except for the executives. The executives I want to keep. Well, am I doing liberate or am I doing satellite? Puppets, I want a satellite.
Except for the executives. Their stuff I'm taking. Oh, and whoever's here. Summers. Now watch as Kaisar comes after us. I'm going to then take the rest, which is just those three. I think. Okay, so we took 12 states. We had another payoff. Now we are positive money. But uh, stability is shaky. Provisional Republic of Texas took 12 states. Lanius, loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of people were puppeted. We got a lot of equipment out of that. We have a lot of new friends up here. And we gained 800 manpower from freeing slaves. So what we're going to do is we're going to say line here. Line here. If you're already on the line. You are staying on the line. If you're on this line, you're staying on that line. And otherwise, you move down here as necessary. 20 divisions, 48 divisions. Um, let's say that you lot go onto this one. Okay. Now our troops can turn the hell around. And hopefully turn this war around. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have special forces here with the intention of trying to get a cutoff through the center following the river. In fact, if we're following the river, I don't need it to be that wide. We'll do something like this. And the APCs, I think quite frankly, are just going to follow that. And then Brotherhood. I'm going to assist with that. Okay. All of my armies now need to move. A cruel in, a jewel in our crown. What's that for? Because I got the crown jewel ages ago. Conquer a node. Oh, yeah. Um... Wait. Do puppets count as notes? Oh, I have Custrasol Rebrum. Right, because I took the Legion. I took Lanius out. He's my trophy. Be sure to garrison this in case Caesar comes calling. I mean... I need to focus on Edgesito right now. They are a really powerful enemy. And I'm hoping that some of my new friends will come in and assist us if we need it. Also, Dinatar is a threat. Come on! Alright, we're going to leave Brotherhood guarding that crossing. Dinatar doesn't have a direct border with me. They have a direct border with my minions, but not with me. Oh, we got Diana's navy. Interesting. Immigration is complete. 
Let's go freedom of religion. There has oddly been a vigorous debate about the Constitution's guarantee of freedom of religion. The old Constitution barred office to atheists, but some from Austin think that this is absurd. Are we are not a modern civilization? Well, yes, I do believe we are. Probably. What happened to my air force? Oh, they were probably caught in these territories and they apparently just get disbanded rather than moved. So any experience they had was lost. Nope, we lost the planes too. Brilliant. Uh, crap. <laughs> that may well cost us the war. Why had they not moved? Because I had them all assigned to you. I mean, we do still have overwhelming air superiorities. They may well have just been shot down, I can't say for sure. They do have an air force. Mine is still bigger. Except their air force consists of gliders, so it's unlikely. <sighs> Why are you lot not moving? Okay, yes, that's you lot. Um, probably don't need to worry about guarding those locations anymore. That's one. That's one. Got another APC done. Which is good. It's very good. Here come the troops. The victorious veterans of the north. Stonks? We aren't quite sure what an index fund is, or even if they exist. Against advice from esteemed advisor Jeremy, this investment has done great in growing the wealth of our nation. Uh... Oh, subsidizing puppets will reduce their... Wish for independence. Serve us well and you can have independence. But you shall serve. Also, we can get the chop shop now. Chop shop is vehicles. I'm not sure that I necessarily want to spend 300 grand on that. I'm also a little bit surprised that throughout all of this, I haven't had any other people come through the uh, grapevine to join us. Probably still want the new citizen care package. Are we still having occupation issues? I mean, we'll have a lot less issues now. Although Lanius is still causing problems. So yes, I will go for the new citizen care package. Boop. Now that I have money again. Are we still losing money? Yeah, we are. Um, okay. Oh, there's a puppet ledger. Oh, that's cool. Shows the manpower, stability, troops, inscription laws. Huh, okay. But that's not the one I want to see. The one I want to see is the trade map. Because Lone Star is still trading with Houston, though we could probably go back to Twin Mothers at this point.
and then Castrosol Rebrum is going to give us another slot soon enough. Hounds of Day declared war on the Baggers. Hounds of Day are being quite aggressive up there. Ah, Warden's one of ours now. Cool. So how many of you are coming on this line? 37. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch... ...half of you to go on to there. At least 27 of you. Yeah, that's fine. Fall of New Canaan. After two days of intense fighting, New Canaan has fallen to the 80s. Morbin troops bravely defended the settlement until the early hours of the morning, falling back to hastily constructed defensive lines no less than seven occasions. Whilst an order to withdraw was given late last night following a successful enemy encirclement action, the Mormon defenders of the city have refused to acknowledge the order and instead took up highly defensive positions in the centre of the settlement. It was only thanks to heavy ordnance that their last stand was ultimately put down. In the morning light, it was clear the settlement had been devastated. The 80s spared no quarter in quashing resistance to the rule, and many buildings lie in smouldering ruins, including the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the Mormons' main place of worship. How long can a nation stand without its namesake city? Yeah, trade will come back online in 16 days, which is going to include another trade route as well. 80s took 62 states. Oh, Heaven's Gate was fighting them too. That was a big war, actually. New Canaan, Crazy Horns, Lawns Anointed, Sorrows, Dead Horses, Lone Tree, and the White Legs were all annexed. 272,000 equipment. And that's really messy. Also, Troll Warren are actually fighting back against the Brotherhood. They must be out of manpower. I think the NCR probably is too, judging by this. Meanwhile, technology. Um, Energy-wise, we're still fine. Industry. We can work on robot workers, seeing as we have advanced industry. Start to make that count for us. Alright, are you lot ready for an attack? No, definitely not. Oh, we have a shortage of circuitry. For what? We also have a general shortage of industry. Um, that's probably part of the repair jobs that we need to do. Let's make sure the civilian factories get done first. Oh, circuitry may have been coming from Austin. That's a lot of civilian factories we have to repair. Bloody hell. And then after that, we'll do the military factories. So that our production can stay up. Just make sure the civvies go first. Get that back in done. Okay, now occupations. Let's go through this list again. So, Assassin City. Sporadic outposts. Seems fine. Carbon. Sporadic outposts. Fine. Desperado. Sporadic. Fine. Eden. Caravan guards can go up to sporadic. Fine. Alexandria. Caravan guards. Sporadic. Fine. Lanius. Still having problems with you. Although we don't need to carry, uh, we don't need to hold it as much. So I think we can probably go back to rioters. Yes, and we can afford it too. Good. Caravan guards. Sporadic? Fine. Lubok. Definitely good. Sporadic. Shale. Never left. Ah, executives. You can probably go all the way up to sporadic. Uh, maybe not. Maybe caravan? Caravan guards is fine. Okay, so that should fix a lot of the 
occupation problems that we were having. And yes, we can also move the spies around, you're not wrong. Actually, out here is still a big part of the problem. Let's do that. And I will have planning prep for you. And also for you. Clearly not what I wanted. And I just deleted the special forces. Great. Just their order. Nothing more important. There we go. And we'll have the special forces. And you're going to do a spear point down to here. And you are going to follow the river, more or less. Cool. Good enough. So, special forces. Are you ready to go? No. You need to get some planning prep. Now, it does... Help, there, Jacito has now stopped attacking us. So, we were able to reverse the losses, by the looks of things. Dinators at war with chippers. Ciphers. Misread that. Okay. It's a blow that we lost all of the aircraft, though. It's a big blow. Seeing as that was one of our major advantages. I don't know why we lost all of the air force like that. Freedom of religion. Troll Warren took six states. Apostles were annexed. Alright, breaking the shackles. Those who formerly resided over pieces of our United Texas bound our citizens. Though those who wish to continue this exploitation, such violations of rights will not stand. You know what? I think one of the APCs going in support. Because I don't really care about the northern sectors. Ever since the new DLC, Air Wings don't retreat to the airport is overrun, but gets destroyed by the enemy. Learn that in Spain the hard way. Really? Oh man, that's going to be some horrible micromanagement. Eh, I don't like that change. Maybe a portion of them, but all of them? And also, I don't think they were, were... No, they probably weren't overrun. And I doubt that the AI moves them back off of the front line. Ugh, that's horrible. Okay, are we ready? We're ready. You ready? You're not ready. Get ready. Oh, I've had several airports there, Jacito, to taken out. Will this be going on YouTube? Yes. I think it's actually due to start tomorrow. If memory serves. Unorthodox interception routes. Done. All aircraft defense up. Yes, please. And in fact, seeing as we're having to rebuild our entire air force anyway, ground pounders, I would like your engines to be improved, I would like your range to be improved, and I'd like your reliability to be improved. And then probably eventually attack as well. And yes, please build the ground pounder mark ones. Thank you. So what am I missing out on the circuits for? HMG is probably actually the top priority. They are going to be a lower priority. <laughs> We've lost so many factories. 
Thankfully, our stockpiles are huge. Infrastructure prioritization. And then we're going to move on to you. All right, now are we ready? Now we're ready. Let the Reconquista begin. Thankfully, we're very good on the attack. And yes, this is coming for our cause. Our trade node has finally thrown off its economic downturn. As commerce returns to the neglected region, we expect income from taxes as well. Good stuff. So, trade node. Castro Sol Rebrum. You are able to trade with quite a few places. North Phoenix. Twin Mothers is worth a lot. Lone Star is worth even more. But do I want to trade with myself? Or do I want to trade with North Phoenix? Yeah, I only have the one. I'm trading with myself, which increases the value of both of them, I think. Profits from the drug trade. The press captures Edgecito Mexicano plans. Somehow, members of the press have captured Edgecito Mexicano plans for a major offensive. It turns out that the same reporters who criticize our glorious government are also willing to report on AFO's movements. This is a stirring reminder that whatever our differences, we are all the Provisional Republic of Texas. And that comes in just in time, because reconnaissance and decryption. Nice. If you trade with yourself, do you get two tariffs? Probably. Oh, now energy is going down. Why? I have less planes now. And yet the Air Force has become a heck of a lot more expensive. Huh? No, it's because I have less energy, because we lost Austin. Austin was the source of a lot of our energy. That's what the problem was. Oh, that is a crossing. Um, yes, we need to worry about that. Oh, go away. You lot. Start a new front line right there. And guard it. You lot don't attack that way. Same thing here. You, you, and you. New front line there. We're going to need to do the same here as well. <coughs> 